Hello, my beautiful and luxurious flowers. It's me, Nia, with Exquisite Floral Design and Events. I'm back today with an easy way to make a bridal bouquet. So what I did was I went to Trader Joe's and I got a bunch of um, white <clears throat> or ivory roses and I got some green mini carnations. So I just so I grabbed just whatever was on the shelf. So what I'm doing here now is I am cleaning the stems of the roses. I have a stem stripper, but um, I show you how you could do it without it. And you just pull off the leaves and the, the thorns. And I kind of bloom the roses out a little bit so they can be a little bit bigger and I take off any damaged petals and note that I use some of the roses from the because 12 come in a pack I use some of those in a previous video so I said oh I have some left let's show how to make a really easy bridal bouquet for your brides, a bride may bouquet for your bridesmaids. So as you see, I just continue to clean each one and remove the petals that look damaged. And I just cut it to, um, in the beginning you saw that I just cut the, um, I just cut the roses to a general size. bloom them out and this one didn't want to bloom regularly so I just um, use my fingers but very gently and try to you know uh, reflex the petal not reflex it but um, make it just a little bit bigger so I kind of gathered together to see how it looked and then I'm going to do the same with the mini carnations I'm going to um, grab some of those I kind of cut it about the same height as the other roses even though my bouquet is not going to be this long now I'm going to take the rose and we're going to start with the middle flower which is my rose then I'm going to set the carnation the mini carnations a little bit lower then my middle rolls and then I'm going to take my roses and I'm going to put them all the way around but like I said a little bit lower so kind of stagger the middle one and then the roses that are going to go around the outside a little bit lower and you're going to be able to adjust to, so it can make like a round um, a round look so now it's just rose, carnation, rose, carnation, rose, carnation. And I just use five because you always want to use the odd number. And if I was going to make it any bigger, I would then use two in the center, or I'm sorry, three in the center, and then um, seven to nine round. And that would make your next size up. So right now, this would be considered um, small, and the next size up would be considered medium, and then so on. And so right now, <clears throat> I'm just trying to remove some of the carnations that were kind of really low off the stem and kind of bring them up. I'm looking at my flowers from the top to see 
you know, is it making that round look? Beautiful. Now I'm going to take the floral wax tape. And this stuff is, when you pull it tightly, it kind of gets uh, sticky. So I guess the wax in it makes it kind of stick. And I'm just going to roll, 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 roll. And I hope you guys notice how I, how I was holding the roses when I um, was placing them. I had my hand cupped around it and I just placed in my finger um, was doing all the opening and closing to grab each flower. Now even though it's wrapped with the tape I still can adjust. I still can bring a flower up. I can still bring a flower down. It's easy to still adjust when you wrap with the floral tape. We're done. Now we just cut it to the desired size. I really like it when I get all that junk. I can't stand having too much of flowers laid everywhere. So I had a basket to the side. And there we go. You have a really cute and small bouquet. Now next we are going to, again, I'm such a perfectionist. I love to make sure everything looks presentable. Now um, we're going to use some ribbon. I picked ivory satin. I just wrap it around again and I cut it and I take two um, pins and I pin them going at a diagonal. So I push them upward so that they won't come through the other side because you don't want to stick any of your ladies then i'm going to add just a little bit more and i take a little bit of ribbon and i'm going to make a bow so i just take two sides and tie them together adjust it to make sure it's the right you know, I don't want it to be too big, too little. It needs to be the right size. Just, I'm just, we're just adding just a little bit more to it. You know, something to dangle down and pictures to look elegant. I have the worst scissors ever. That's the problem with me. I always like, I'll use my scissors to cut like flowers and different things, and then it makes them dull. And I always tell myself, okay, use your scissors only for ribbon. And use your snippers only for flowers but when I get into a rush I'll grab anything that cuts for flowers now again I'm going to stick the pins in at an angle to make sure we don't stick anybody and there you have it my beautiful little bouquet for my bridesmaids thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye Hee <laughs> hee.